So let's look at the following example in which we're going to apply Ohm's law. So suppose a 6 volt battery is connected to a light bulb with a resistance of 2 ohms within a closed electric circuit. So calculate how many electrons leave the battery every single 2 minutes. So every single 120 seconds. So we essentially have Ohm's law. So we want to use Ohm's law to calculate what the electric current is within our electric circuit. Then by using the definition of our average electric current, we can calculate what the quantity of charge is that leaves our battery every single two minutes. And then we can use that to calculate the number of electrons that leave our battery. So let's begin by applying Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that voltage is equal to the product of the resistance and the electric current. So we use that equation, rearrange it and solve for our I. The I is equal to the voltage 6 volts divided by the resistance 2 ohms gives us 3 amperes. So now we take this quantity and use our definition of our average electric current. So I is equal to our change in charge divided by change in time. So the change in time we can multiply both sides and we get the following equation. The quantity of our electric charge that leaves or travels through a certain region is equal to the product of the time elapsed multiplied by our electric current. So we know what the I is from this part and we are asked to calculate how much charge essentially leaves our battery every single two minutes. So two minutes multiplied by 60 seconds divided by a minute multiplied by three amps gives us 360 coulombs of electric charge leaves that battery every single two minutes. So finally, we want to calculate the number of electrons. So we take the total charge, which was found in this part, and divided by the charge on a single electron. So 360 coulombs divided by 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs gives us 2.25 times 10 to the 21 electron leaves our voltage, our battery, every single two minutes.